Well, hi, and thanks for stopping by to the Pellets and Pistons Airgun Channel. Uh, that's our new name. That's what we'll be known as from here on in. Uh, I hope you like it. I certainly do. I think it's a great name. <laughs> but today we've got a very interesting rifle, and that's the Walther Terrace. Uh, I bought this second hand. It didn't come with any sights, um, but I am aware that this, the factory sights are fully adjustable uh, fiber optic sights, so I imagine they're quite nice. This gun comes in at 44 and a quarter inches long and it weighs seven and a half pounds. That makes it a nice size for a carry all day hunting gun. Uh, it's, this one's in 22 caliber, but it's also available in 177. Uh, the factory claims about 800 feet per second in 22 and 1,050 feet per second in 177. And I'm pretty sure that they're using alloy pellets to get those numbers because I was getting 673 for, feet per second with a lead H&N field target trophy pellet which weighs about 14.6 grains and that translates into 14 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. Um, this gun is lightweight, it's accurate, and it's powerful. That makes it the ideal rifle to carry around in the woods. It's small enough and it's light enough to be just a pleasure to carry. It's a, roughly about the size of a Beeman R7 or HW30. I put it in that category but it's quite a bit more powerful at 14 foot-pounds. Uh, the trigger is very good. It breaks at about four pounds and it breaks very crisp. So that makes it a decent target trigger and an ideal hunting trigger. Uh, this gun has got typical German build quality. Uh, I'm very impressed. It, it, the bluing is similar to what you'll find on the RWS or Diana line of rifles. Uh, the wooden stock is pretty much lackluster. There's not much going on as far as figure goes. It does have some checkering, which is decent, but not great. Um, but it's all metal. There's not a plastic part on this rifle, except for possibly the piston seal. And that's the only thing I can think of that I found that was plastic on this gun. And I did have it out of the stock. All the trigger parts are metal, including the trigger guard, the rear cap, and the automatic safety, all metal. Um, it's got a threaded muzzle. Now this gun's quiet right out of the box, but with a threaded muzzle you can make it even more quiet if you'd like to, but I don't see any need for that. Right out of the box it's very backyard friendly. Uh, I'd highly recommend this gun. comes in right around $200, sometimes a little less with the synthetic stock I believe. It's a little more affordable. But uh, I'd highly recommend it. It's just a sweetheart of a rifle. So we're going to take a couple of shots. I won't put it to my shoulder for the first couple of shots. That way you can see the recoil. Uh, I just I wish you could handle the gun and get a real feel for it because I think you'd be impressed. I know I was. So we'll take a couple of shots. The first thing you'll notice is that it's silent when you cock it. And listen to that sear and gauge. Factory says cocking efforts around 32 pounds, I think it is. I think it's a little less than that, actually. It feels very easy to cock. So keep your ears open and take a look at the, the butt of the stock. You'll see the recoil. And that'll give you an idea how smooth of a shooting rifle it is and what a joy it is to pull a trigger on this gun. Isn't that nice? Really impressive. What a sweetheart of a rifle. Again, silent cocking. Something else I should mention is that when you close the action on this gun, it's almost effortless. The locking lugs in here, they just made up so sweet. One finger, it's closed. What a sweetheart of a rifle. I can't, I can't stop saying that. Another shot down into the ground. Watch your recoil. Listen to that rifle. Very impressed. So let's celebrate this gun by ringing the bell. Now that target is 60 yards away. And what it is is a 14 inch concrete cutting demolition blade from a demolition saw. So it's pretty hard to miss. Again, quiet cocking, positive sear engagement. That first effortless closing, automatic safety, powerful, lightweight, accurate, 
all metal construction. What's better than that, folks? If you get a chance to check one of these out, I would highly recommend it. It's an heirloom gun. It'll last for generations. It's just a sweetheart of a rifle, the Walther Terrace. Thanks so much for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Airgun channel. I hope to see a lot more of you folks. There'll be a lot more content to come. Thanks again. That bell's about 60 yards away, and it's a big metal disc. It used to be a concrete cutting blade for a 14-inch demolition saw, so it's pretty hard to miss.